What do y'all think? Are y'all looking forward to this game? What would y'all give it? So, like, uh, would you say you're very excited, looks gay and will play, or looks gay and will not play, or you just completely don't care? Or I would say, honestly, I'm probably, like, in between here. I might be on the so excited. What is this budget Daft Punk? It's like Chinese Daft Punk. It's also two members. Maybe it is actually just Chinese Daft Punk. It's actually going hard. It's going hard, but the footage is like gay anime furry stuff. It's like very, um, it doesn't fit with Zenless Zone Zero. Like, I feel like this should be music for like, um, Call of Duty. Like an actual, or, or I don't know, like what's like a gamer badass game? Or like Wuthering Waves, I guess, tries to be all badass. If Wuthering Waves had this music, that would be sick, actually. Maybe this game is edgy. Whenever I see this game, it just looks like all gay, cringe humor, anime. Like, what is this? What is this music over this? Homosexual furries. Yeah, that was a good ass song. He's your friend, Dalwei. That's the producer. So his name is Dalwei. And his name is Zenju Wee ZYL. Why does he have brackets in his name? Zen Yu Wanted to bring everyone a thrilling story, packed with tension. No matter how polished the content, everyone can choose to watch or skip. Wait, what did he just say? Wait, the first thing they introduce their game with is you can skip the story? That's like the first thing he brings up. That seems like odd. That devours the world, the hollows. Skip button is huge. I know, I guess it's huge. It just seems odd to have that as like your first thing in the first two minutes. Of like, welcome to our sick game you've been working on. By the way, you can like skip all the cutscenes. Make it louder. Good. All right. Dude, how are people saying these characters look bad? I don't understand. I think it's just my algorithm. There's no way you can say these characters look bad. N N N. Welcome. What? Why was it N N N there? Bro, this set. The set is bigger than Girls Frontline 2's whole budget. Alright, this is Joseph. No way, Joseph. Welcome to New Eridu. Oh, is this what we saw Connor jump in in that like awful ad they had? The culprit that brought about the end of the world, the internal space inside is disordered and chaotic. Normal people would get lost if they fell in. Oh, Connor's fucked them. I don't know why he would do that. Have I picked my furry name mains yet? Well, we'll see. I'll pick one after the stream. So no one can escape, but I'm guessing we send these agents in to, like, kill the stuff inside. Etheric technology to become the miracle city that perseveres, expanding and growing. The growing need of ether gives rise to organizations. Uh, I see, so you get ether from these holes and they dispatch people inside them to get the resources. Who do you guys, who, who are you all picking? Wise or Bela? I think Wise is the dude. Wise and Bela, yeah, this is Wise, Bela. 
Wise is a Walmart Callus. He kind of looks like Callus. I like her. She's pretty unique design. They just have a Cookie Templar male avatar MC they put. Cool story, bro. Whoa. I'm not seeing that one. Is that a guy or girl? I don't think I've seen her either. I don't think I've seen any of these except the uh, weird Vosh uh, Midna clone. Vosh would like this character. Oh shit. Oh, they're, they're like showing a lot of new... Oh, oh, she's powerful. This one's a short omnipotent lesbian for sure. Yeah, she's going to be the most broken in the game. Oh, I see. This is like police. Oh, nice. So now we have the blue arch high faction here. And this is the maid faction, right? Construction faction. And main story faction. Cool, cool. I like how they like divide them in factions. Like they they kinda do that in Star Rail and kinda Genshin, but it's like more what's it's like more apparent in ZZZ. I think that's kinda cool. Okay, how the f is um okay i have nothing against blue archive players i really don't have anything against i love you all how is this in the game but like soldier 11's thighs get censored like how's that happen like fuck okay I i'm how is this not how's this th how's this happen this is not okay this is not okay but this good also like nicole too wait what the what is the censorship I i'm so I'm baffled. Yeah, I think this is the original. So look at her in the original. Look at her like facial expressions. And here's the new one. I love how it looks like she got punished by HR. That's how her face looks. She looks like guilty. It's like someone at HR had a talking with her that her boobs were too big. Like, look, she's not even showing off her boobs anymore. She's showing off, like, her stupid bunny toy. Like, what the f*** is this? And then... That's removed. But then they add, like, uh, two lollies. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. You know. Whatever. I don't get the multiplication there. I don't get the math. Also, this game... Now that I think of it... This game has both furries and lollies, right? This game is going to be like the ultimate filtering game. Very base game, everyone. It's pandering to everyone? No, it's actually filtering everyone. No normies are going to play ZZZ. You see a lot of familiar faces, yeah. The cunning Harris Odd Job Society. So I assume those are all like three. Delugbog Heavy Industries. This isn't related to like Star Rail War at all, right? Bellabog. I like the bear. Toria Housekeeping. Maybe there's more Honkai crossover, I have no idea, dude. Criminal Investigation Special Response Team. She's gonna be really powerful, everyone. Save for this character. I, I warned you. This is like Final Fantasy e-girl bait. They, they love cat boys. I wonder if the robot's a character. Probably not. The Sons of Kaladin. Holy shit, she's like, she, this is my favorite character, by the way. She's so OP, she doesn't even need a squad. She's just like her own squad, look at that. A one-man army, oh, virtual idols, more, more lollies, more filtering. They're like showing way more than I thought. Let's admire everyone's skills. Dude, this set is so good. It's They're just flexing so much on how good their set is.
Speaking of combat, people describe it as very satisfying. Good execution and good feedback. Rather than focusing on exaggerated special effects, we focus on the frame by frame and perfecting every action. Yeah, that's right. That's a that's an indirect shot at Wu Wall there. He's like, you see all that spazzy animations that Ching Li is doing? That's just like, uh, what's that like animation thing called? That's just like blender, uh, slop garbage. B yeah, 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 B, B, BFX. I do, find, I, I do feel like the more I watch the Wu Wall animations, if you really watch them, they don't really make sense. You guys know what I'm saying? Like, if you actually watch them, they have, like, their blades spinning, like, around, like, they don't make sense at, at all. It's magic, maybe. We design chain attacks. You build up the daze bar, which is yellow. When daze is maxed out, enemies are stunned. Wait, did they just copy Wu Wall? It's just a Wu Wall clone. Yeah, this is like days. Literally stole that from Wu Wall. The perfect access system. When there's a yellow flash, you switch agents. Oh, I see. It's kind of like, is it a parry? He's calling it perfect assist though. I guess it's functionally the same. This is what I saw. I guess I always wondered what this was. I thought this was just switching character, but no, it's perfect switch. I like the knockback. It's really cool. Why didn't they show more? They're edgy. So hard. He's saying the game is really easy right now, but has a high skill ceiling. The high skill ceiling is making more money, so you can get more omnipotent lesbians, or I guess furries. That's the skill ceiling. We're also releasing two all new agents. Paper works as a driver. He can build up power until finally eliminating the enemy in one false uh, swoop. I like her. She's a support. I want to get her for sure. Wait, she just like killed her own pet there. We've seen her before. Her, I like her movement a lot. It looks so cool. Like how she does like flips and shit. I wish they should. They, they like don't. They keep edging us. Who's, who's this one? This is the maid with the shark tail. Ellen Joe. There's gonna be dumb Joe Mama jokes there. Ju you oh no. Is this an is this gonna be another Jimmy Chungus? Ju Yuan. It's Jing Yuan's sister. I hope not. Our our officer. I would get I would do like a really um what's like the easiest way to get arrested if she was around? Like, maybe if I live, like, I know if you live in Alaska, if you build a snowman that's taller than you, you can get arrested. So if I lived in Alaska, I would purposely do that, so she uh, arrests me. Plain Blue Archive. Pro tip, if you're, like, ever want people not to sit next to you at, like, Starbucks, or, um, at a library, or at Phil's Coffee, just pull up an anime mobile game, like Blue Archive or something or Nikkei, or, or whatever, and just like crank up the volume a bit and make weird noises while you like stroke your characters. 
and like make weird just be like and just like stroke them weirdly and no one will sit by you just having Revy starlight showing on my uh ipad has made no one sit by me oh they're showing like these uh fucks now what are they called bamboo oh is this just a stupid pom-pom I don't give a fuck what if he's just like being like, I don't, I don't give a shit about your bamboo. Tell me about the game, of course. Wait, they do combat? Wait, never mind, these are badass. Oh, they're like elves in Honkai Impact. We've been polishing bamboo movement and gameplay. You put so much effort into it, yet decided not to monetize it. <laughs> He's like, why, why the fuck would you make something and not make money off of it? What is your problem? What is this company I'm running? He's not, he was not satisfied with that answer. That dude's fired. This, this dude's fired. He was not happy with that. If you're going to develop something, if you're going to develop a new unit type for an anime mobile game, you don't give them for free. I guess it's just like Girls Frontline Coalition units. I know everyone here plays Girls Frontline. It's just something you grind over time and eventually get everything. That's what it, that's what I'm getting from this. That's good. It's free though. That is just like a free to play progression thing. It's like goddamn Elks and Honkai Impact were a stupid addition. This is an insane copy animation. You're not wrong, dude. We hope to leave an impression of something unique. We added a lot of small details. That's why in every store and every environment, we strove to create the most charming vibe. That doesn't make sense. How's a dog running the booth? Oh my god. Okay, they've just been edging us. Wait, I need to go to the bathroom, y'all. A few moments later. I thought I would last longer. Dude, I, I get it done really fast, okay? The whole live stream has been edging me this whole time because they keep just barely showing any gameplay and I want to see more. So I was already edged up. Fucking YouTube chat are question marking me. I see you. I just checked the YouTube chat for the first time this stream. That's how, that's how little I care about you guys. I've not even been reading you this whole time. She's an NPC. Is that going to be like the new argument instead of like she's a cartoon or she's a she's below the age? Now it's she's an NPC. Is that what the goalpost has moved to now? Yango, it's she's she's only she's a high schooler, Yango, like or, or that or then now it's going to be she's an NPC. Now, now you can't fuck NPCs in video games. Fucking YouTube chat. NPC equals unedgeable. Yeah. Don't sexualize NPCs. I'm not reading that chat again. Together they construct the new tangible new era do. Of course, even though the size of the game... Oh look at is this like a... This is what they need. They need this shit in Star Rail, so it looks like it has more of a proper uh, base. Your two bedrooms are decorated differently. That's crazy. No, they're texting. Alright, what they need to do is make this talky AI. That's what I've been saying. So you have like infinite conversations with your anime mobile gaming waifus and you think they're real just just collab with talky ai which you can download using my link at talky ai at iango they should actually integrate talky ai iango in here so like whenever people play zzz i get like money 
That would be that would be insane. These locations around will all have new events popping up every day. Okay, so you can invite your agents to hang out. You can send out DMs. Holy shit! Officer, are you free? Why she have a potato? She has a wait. Is that a Veggie Tales avatar? No way. Her avatar is Veggie Tales. Are we gonna do it in the car? It's definitely a Persona Five vibes now. I wonder if there's like a day night. Is there a day night? Does anyone know in chat? Like, is there like a night time? You have also improved the exploration system. I'm a little worried proxies might get lost and be unsure where to go. You, you see why? This is why Hogoverse wins, okay? Any anti homoverse What am I saying? It's been a long day, y'all. Any anti homoverse uh, chatters, this is why they win. It's because they know, they understand that anime mobile gamers are retarded. They, they get it. I'm a little worried proxies might get lost and be unsure where to go. Exactly. And that's why they're always going to win. So they put a system in for retards where you consult retard guider officer Mew Mew and he shows you what to do. I'm going to be talking. I'm a retard as well, so I will be talking with Officer Mew Mew. Every new corner, there's a Bangaloo waiting to help proxies. I feel like you run slow. What is this, like, speed, dude? She's so fucking slow. What major gameplay updates? Let's start with Hollow Zero gameplay. So I wonder if he's making it sound like these are new changes that weren't even in the betas, actually. The map wasn't there? Oh, is that true? So, like, the map was, like, smaller in the beta? Maybe I could look at my YouTube chat. They might be smarter. Mid, you can't mint pick. Hey, you don't know that. There might be a mint picking system they add. Did the devs listen? Yo, I have to ask Steam Bun X. But it looks like they did add a bunch. So this is a... Hello Zero touches our team's underlying lore. While challenging the roguelike gameplay, proxies can use it to learn more about new Eridu. Now it kind of looks like Divergent Universe, he just like fused something there. When you have four resonating of the same type, you get a bonus enhanced one. Okay. As you build trust with agents, you can trigger special and interesting events in Hollow Zero that may not only offer upgrades, but also understand. Oh. I see. I don't know. This is probably not like good long term gameplay, but if they do like what they do in Honkai Star Rail and they just add different versions of simulated uni. That's cool. So it's like in Honkai Star Rail, if you got like a divergent universe upgrade, but it was like specific to Himiko. You, you see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, yeah, a confident event. And then you get like an upgrade that's and it probably like well, let's actually read it. When Anby uses her EX special, she gains eight stacks of charge. When she hits an enemy with her basic attack or dash attack, why are they edging so much? Oh, there we go. One stack of charge is consumed, increasing that attack by forty-five percent. So it kind of changes her play style. That's cool. That was a Bangboo upgrade. Bangboo, that's like a word, stupid name. Bangboo. I want to imagine that, like, 
Dalway actually doesn't know what the fuck anyone is doing on the teams. So it's not even acting for these. He's actually he actually doesn't know what this game is at all. It's unscripted completely. He has no idea. What is this? Smash. Oh, there's like a slow down dodge. That was it. What can we expect for more high level stages? We also try to expand some battlefield interactions and incorporate some narrative elements. This could be interesting depending on how it's done. Alright, how much more is there? A little bit more. They're just flexing their set more. There's still something missing. Brought everyone some goodies for the official release. We prepared 80 free polls. I'm guessing this is just, oh wait, complete the relevant events to obtain rewards. Okay. So it's not really 80 free polls. It's like you can obtain 80 polls if you play the game. I don't even think that's that many, honestly. It sounds it sounds like a lot, though. If you log in and do Chinese chores every day, chat, you'll get 80 if you play for a whole month. Isn't that pog? Is a Lucy on release, by the way? She has to be, right? They, like, keep advertising her. Is she, like, a standard banner? Lucy's free? Is she free? That's crazy. I feel like a, it's a good thing, though. I, I, I like how Wuwa does this, too. One thing I'll say about Wu Wall is that I feel like Wu Wall, I, I feel like a lot of the four stars kind of look better and even have better gameplay in Wu Wall. And it looks like Zenless Zone Zero, a lot of the four stars look kind of good too, and maybe their gameplay is also fun. Whereas I think in an action game, you just want to play what's fun. Whereas like in Honkai, Honkai Gay Rail, at least how I play Honkai Gay Rail, is I just use the most omnipotent lesbian teams. I never use a 4 star in Honkai Gay Rail. I don't think. Why, why would I use a 4 star if a 5 star is better? Why would I use a male if a female is better? What? He just gave 20 more. It was like mainly marketing, though, right? You redeem this and you get all 100 poles instantly. Well, I feel like they're gonna do like one extra thing now. There's time left. Oh shit. Yo, yo, yo! Sunless Zone Zero is going online! Tons of freebies are up for grabs! Idiot! You forgot to mention What is this? Derpy animation. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> See, this is like the music I was expecting for Zenless Zone Zero. Like this more like gay bubble pop music. Not like like this intro went so hard. Not like a not like new metal. This song is like too good for a gay furry game. I'm sorry. They, they they cooked too hard. This is overcooked, I would say. I mean, I say that's it. I feel like that was pretty good, no? That was really good for like under 30 minutes.